Hi, my name is Dr. Stella Volpe, and I am professor and chair of the Department of Nutrition Sciences at Drexel University. And today I'd like to share with you some tips on eating healthy during a quarantine. I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see my slides and follow along while I give you this short presentation. So I'd like to present with you some sample meals that you can use that are pretty simple, but also can save you some time as well as money so that you can have things around the house that won't go bad very quickly. For example, for breakfast, you can make eggs and toast and, and make them either with some jalapenos or spinach, nice and simple. Uh, having something like oatmeal with, with some blueberries, either frozen or fresh, and some almonds or walnuts is also a nice little treat for breakfast. And then a fruit smoothie, a fruit and vegetable smoothie, which can you can consume anytime. And they're easy to make and very, can be very nutritious. They are very nutritious. And here's an example of a fruit smoothie that I tend to like to make, but again, I like to mix and match. So I either start with almond milk or coconut milk or either regular milk or even a juice. And I'll add things like strawberries, blueberries, pineapples, of which can be frozen or fresh. Bananas, typically I get them fresh. Spinach, either frozen or fresh. And some type of nut butter, as well as yogurt. Again, it can be a, a milk-based yogurt or an almond or soy-based yogurt, or no yogurt at all. Put those all in a blender and add some ice and you will get a delicious smoothie that you can have yourself and share it with your family as well. Again, easy and fun to make. And then for lunch, you can make simple things like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I toasted my peanut butter and jelly sandwich actually the other day and it was so good. It just added a bit of difference to the sandwich. I also tend to like to put bananas in there for that extra piece of fruit. And another little treat is I sprinkle flax seeds on top and a little bit of honey sometimes. Having that with some milk and or fruit on the side increases the nutritional value. And something simple like a grilled or toasted cheese. And I love to add spinach to my grilled or toasted cheese. And even more simply, put your pieces of toast in a toaster oven, put your cheese on top, of course, before that goes in, toast it a little, then I will put some spinach and sometimes some jalapenos on top. And it's a nice, easy way to get um, a nice protein and some vegetables in your diet. Dinner and snacks, you can have tuna, canned tuna or canned salmon. They last very well in the house as well. And you can make a tuna salad, a salmon salad, or a tuna or sa salmon salad sandwich. A nice salad with fresh spinach, fresh fruits, as well as almonds with a light dressing. A great snack, great side dish, or you can add some chicken or salmon or some type of fish to that and you'll get a full meal. And then I thought it would be fun to share with you that it's really nice to make a cheese, fruit, and vegetable and cracker plate. You can keep that out for a little bit, then wrap it up and put it back in the fridge. But that's really kind of nice to have to snack a little bit and healthy snacks for you and your family. And it also allows for a little bit of variety during the day. You can certainly add dried fruits to this. The one thing I state about dried foods, however, fruits, however, is that they, because they're dried, they're a little bit more concentrated with sugar. So just be aware of that and try not to consume them too much. Dinners can also be simple. One of my favorite things to make that's simple and inexpensive and allows me to keep canned beans around, they, they, they're around the house. I put three different kinds of beans in, plus I put a canned corn as well as some type of tomato puree or tomato chunks and my spices and I make a nice vegetarian chili. That I can, you can break up and put it in the freezer so that you have that over time. And again, you can put that as well over rice, which can make it easy. If you have a rice cooker or some type of pressure cooker, the rice cooks faster. You can certainly still put meat in there as well if you choose. On the bottom here, I have another type of salad again, but that's the salad with that I put in this photo, there's, there's chicken. And then certainly something like baked chicken with, with baked vegetables can go a long way. And you can portion those out as well if you don't eat those all at once uh, with you and your family. 
The other thing I keep mentioning about is canned and frozen fruits and vegetables. And they are really great, especially during this quarantine time when we can't go shopping quite as often. And canned vegetables and fruits are just as nutritious, but look for the kinds without added salt, without added fat, and for the fruit without added sugar and sugary syrups. And for fruits and vegetables that are frozen, they again pri provide you with the same type of nutrients as fresh do. And even more so in, ma in many cases because they are flash frozen, i.e. preserving the nutrients that they came with. So I really wanna thank you for these few minutes you had allowed me to share with you and I hope some of my tips help you to eat more healthily during this quarantine and all year round. Stay safe and stay well. Thank you.